Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. Today we have a small topic in orthodontics that is Nitinol. Nitinol as we all know, it is a uh, alloy which contains nickel and titanium. So it was invented by William R. William R. Bachelor at the Naval Ordnance Laboratory. Okay. Naval Ordnance Laboratory. So this nitinol, we have nickel, we have titanium, and we have Naval Ordnance and Laboratory. So this William uh, Bachelor was a metallurgist doing research and he found a special alloy which has a unique shape memory that is what making this nitinol very special shape memory then it was uh, introduced to orthodontics by Anderson in 1971 1971 so it has got properties such as high spring back high working range and low stiffness so these arch wires on activation produces lower and more constant force on the teeth but the problem with nitinol is it is uh, resistant to take a bend or loops or helix so these things uh, bend helix which is very essential to orthodontic wire helix loops these all can't be created on this nitinol so moreover that it cannot be soldered it cannot be welded so all these makes it not very a good uh, wire in orthodontics but still it has got some good properties so it basically exists in two phases that is uh, austenitic form at high temperature we have learned austenitic form in case of stainless steel austenitic temperature uh, at high temperature it existing in austenitic form that is uh, the bcc structure and at lower temperature this nitinol transforms to martensitic so martensitic form exhibits a monoclinic or triclinic or hexagonal structure this martensitic form is capable of being bent into various shape martensitic form whereas austenitic is completely a different one so it has got two good properties that is shape memory and super elasticity and other than uh, the orthodontics it is uh, very commonly used in endo files so root canal files uh, it can be used because uh, breakage happens uh, during the bmp preparation or um, canal shaping so this uh, is super elastic material uh, where the breakage can be significantly reduced so still it has got uh, many advantages as an endophile so anyway nitinol is a alloy which is uh, used in orthodontics and endodontics which has got properties as shape memory and super elasticity So I hope you understood a little bit about nitinol. That's all for now. So I'll come up with a new topic in orthodontics. Thank you. And lastly, guys, we have started channel membership in dentistry and more channel. So you can explore a various uh, exclusive perks for the channel members. So you can explore various options by clicking on the join button adjacent to subscribe button so we have options of uh, personal whatsapp uh, help so you can ask any doubts uh, you will get answered through whatsapp uh, 
text messages or uh, voice messages and we have one more option that is uh, the PDF notes will be available but as of now we have only the public health dentistry topic the more topics will be uploaded soon and the last option is one-to-one -one interaction session you will get the personal interaction or personal classes on uh, various subjects from the faculties of respective branches so explore the join button and let us know if you want any further help from us thank you